Ladies and gentlemen, how did you enjoy the supper? The ones that ate, I'm sorry. We certainly get the rest of the food delivered. I'd like to thank the uh, co-other band uh, athletics group and certainly the grad 2002, our future leadership. What I'd like to do now is begin the uh, more formal part of our evening uh, in showing our appreciation and acknowledgement of our chief, Gordon Antoine. We do have a number of speakers that we've called upon that will be here tonight doing the, their formal presentation to Gordy. And we will do certainly have time after we have a couple of presentations towards the end of this, the speeches, and then we'll certainly open the floor to some of our other people that want to come up and say a few short words. Without any further ado, I'd like to call upon our first speaker. Certainly a uh, member of the Upper Nicola Band. I'd like to call upon Mr. David McCauley. Okay, we'll get right into this. <clears throat> so, under the I-18. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Remember, those are uh, sacred rocks, so you can't throw them. But anyway, the purpose of being here this evening, and I'm not one of the heavyweights, but uh, after that supper, I don't know. And we were here to pay tribute to an individual throughout my walk in my life. God, the Creator, has put certain individuals in my path. And those individuals have made a difference in my walk. And tonight we're here to honor one of those individuals. I worked for, had the privilege of working for Gordy Antoine for the Coldwater Band for four and a half years. I respect Gordon as a mentor. Gordon, in those four and a half years, have taught me more than I've learned in a lifetime about not only his people, but my people and our way of life. Gordon has always had vision, and that is one of the things that he's passed off to me to give me the vision to continue. When I first started with Coldwater Band as their administrator and fire chief, they didn't have a fire hall, they didn't have a fire truck, they didn't have firefighters. Today you see some of them walking here. They didn't have a school, they didn't have a lot of things. But today you see Coldwater Band and what they have, it's because of vision of that individual. He's passed that on as my mentor, and Gordy, thank you for that. Uh, Gordy has taught me a lot about tradition. I know at times when uh, it was a little quiet at the office, we'd go for a drive, and Gordy would be driving away and saying, uh, up on that mountain, over on that rock, over in this valley, over in that gallery. Uh, I didn't see a lot of that because I kept my eyes on the road while Gordy was talking. <laughs> Anyway, Gordon, without further ado, I thank you for being that individual in my path of life that you've made a difference for me. And as the first, as the Acting General Manager of First Nations Emergency Services, it's a privilege, Gordon, from here to yours. God bless you.